Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to talk to you about VST instruments and VST effects inside Cubase. Now, I had a comment from someone asking why they couldn't see their plugins that they'd installed. So they've opened up Cubase, but they actually can't see the plugins that they wanted to, well, which they wanted to use, which they'd installed. So um, this could be for a few different reasons, actually. So what I wanted to talk to you first of all is about the different types of plugins you have when you install. One uses its own installer, and the other type, if it's a VST effect, perhaps say a compressor that you've um, downloaded from the internet, it could just be the DLL file, which I'll show you as well. So the first thing to look at, when we're in, um, this is for Windows, it's a bit more straightforward on a Mac, this bit, but we've got a programs file, x86. Now, the way I think about this, this is for older 32-bit programs. So I try and avoid that now because it's very rare to be working in 32-bit. You know, modern operating systems are 64-bit. So this is where we're going to find our information. So under um, our programs file, and actually once I click on programs file, can you see here I've got VST plugins already. So this is one place I know I can put VST plugins and Cubase should be able to find these. Now, there's another place under Steinberg, you can actually get VST plugins there as well. And as you can see, these are different plugins that I've installed in the past. And can you see how that file looks? That's a DLL file. Sometimes when you download something, certainly a small plugin from the internet, when you click on the folder once it's downloaded, you might find just that, it looks like two cogs, you might find instead of clicking on the install file where you have to install, you choose your folder to put it in and then you um, choose um, the C drive if, you're, if you've are if you named it that, your programs drive and you choose programs, VST plugins or Steinberg VST plugins. Um, if it's just a DLL file, you actually just copy that, so highlight the file, control C, go to your VST instruments in your C drive and then control um, V to just paste it on or right click paste and paste it in there and then what happens is when Cubase installs, uh, not installs, um, you click on Cubase and Cubase um, runs, Cubase opens, when it's r opening you'll see in um, Cubase it runs for all the plugins it finds along the bottom and perhaps if you've installed new plugins it takes slightly longer you'll see it sort of stops on those plugins slightly because it's sort of working out where to put them and stuff like that so once this is once you have your DLL file copied there or you run your installer choose um, your programs folder Steinberg VST plugins um, that directory and once that's installed in there then make sure you restart um, Cubase, don't have Cubase running, so come out of Cubase and then restart it. And then, fingers crossed, you should see it, if it's, a, if it's an effect, you should see it in your insert effects. Um, sometimes they can be a little bit tricky to find. This is the same as under instruments, which I'll show you. Sometimes it, will, it could hide that in a folder. So, so I know um, Amplitude hides it under distortion, which kind of makes sense to me. Um, sometimes it creates another um, another menu which is other. I think on my um, my laptop it actually created a a drop down menu which was called other, which I know again it it installs it there. And I'll show you how you can move these to different places. But just for now, I think this search is really useful. So say I was looking for amplitude, I've, amplitude. I've installed that. I could just type in this search here, amp. And fingers crossed, there it is. So there's Amplitude, and then I can click on it and it will work as an insert. But it still could be possible that it's not there, and I'm going to show you another um, place that we can have a look to see if we can find it. OK. This also works exactly the same for instruments. So if I press F11, we've got our VST instruments, and then we've got the Add Track. I can click on the drop-down menu, and it should be in here sometimes. So you might get other, here you go, I've got another folder here and it will be in there. Now if you've got a lot of either effects or VST instruments, you'll, it could be much harder to find it. But again, don't forget you've got this search. So if I, I know I've got um, Stephen Slate drum, so if I did SSD, can you see here it's found it for me. So then I can click on there and it would load up. So that search function is very useful. But it still could be you've got to this stage and you're still having trouble finding um, the either effect or VST instrument that you've installed. Now, if you go to Studio 
and go to Plugin Manager. Here's our VST effects, and here's our VST instruments. And then next to this, this here, it could have been sent to here. Now, if if Cubase has a problem with a plugin, it, it occasionally puts it in here, and I've had this before. I haven't got anything in here at the moment because this is such a light install I'm running on this computer. But if it is in here, I think, if I remember rightly, you can highlight it, the instrument, you right click, and then you can um, send it back to if it's an effect, the VST effect, or if it's an instrument, the VST instrument. So I can't exactly remember what the prompt is, but it's right click, and I think it's pretty it's pretty straightforward, or it's it's it should be. I think it was um, it's not reassigned, but it's something like send it back, unblacklist or unblocklist or whatever it's called. I can't see from here, sorry. Um, and it was, should send it back now. It still could be that your effect still isn't listed. Now, there's another thing you could try, because it could be the case that you've installed um, a VST instrument or a, an effect, and when you've run the installer, it's made its own folder, and Cubase has just missed it on the install. So when when Cubase is um, loading up, it, it's missed it. So you need then to manually find where that folder is. Now, this is our plugin information. Oh, I'll tell you one thing before I show you this. At the top here, this little scan all, this refresh scan, that's another way of having a look. And you see here, you'll see if it finds it because you, you see it comes up, it's found no instruments and no effects for me. But that is one thing to try as well, that rescan all because you never know, it might find it on a rescan. And then if not, along the bottom under this plugin information, can you see I've got this folder here, no, sorry, not folder, this um, sort of cog here. So I click there, and you see here, this is telling me where my plugins, where Cubase thinks my plugins all are. So it thinks I've got um, in the common files there, in Steinberg VST plugins, and then the C drive, VST plugins. They're the two folders we looked at um, previously. But it's also, can you see here, Native Instruments made its own C programs file. So C programs, Native Instruments, VST plugins, 64 bit. Now, if your VST, VST instrument or effect that you'd installed has done the same and Cubase has missed it when it's loading, you can click this Add and it'll add a path. And you can then actually go to your C go to your programs where hopefully it will be, click on it, and then select folder. So you can actually manually, by going to that plus, it will manually let you choose where you think it's gone. And if we've designated, you should know this because we, uh, when you ran the installer, you chose the programs drive. So it should be along here somewhere. And then you can click on the folder click select folder and then maybe do a rescan it should find it but it's possible you might have to do a rescan if it doesn't find it or something goes wrong you can also you can delete that file directory as well not it won't delete the directory or just the the path to it that Cubase is looking for and then basically what happens is the case that when um, Steinberg or sorry Cubase starts each time you double click on it to load it up it's, it knows where to search for these plugins, so it will know either it could be a VST or a VST effect or a VST instrument, and it will actually search these first of all for you to try and find it. So that's the other way I'd, I'd have a look. But it, if you get stuck, obviously with computers, everything can be slightly different, but if you get stuck with anything and you've tried all of these out and you still can't find the plugin that you've bought or the plugin that you've downloaded, by all means, um, get in contact with me and leave a message in the comments, um, and then we can chat via comments and we can see if we can um, get to the bottom of why it's not there. But by all means, definitely leave me a comment if you're still having trouble. But they're the things I would try, first of all. So work out whether it's an installer or a DLL file. If it's the DLL file, the small file where it looks like the cogs, copy it into the VST plugins folder under programs. Make sure when you're installing, you don't go to the x86, I think it is, that they're designed more for 32-bit programs. Send it into your standard programs um, folder. 
and then you've got the case of if it's still not coming up it could be that you're searching for it and you're not it's Cubase has chucked it in one of those menus either in the VST effects or the VST instruments that aren't quite so apparent so you've got to go down these drop downs or use the search tool but then if it's still not showing up remember studio VST plugin manager check it's not in here check the Cubase hasn't um, fallen out of it and chucked it in there or remember plugin manager down here check your directories and if it's if it's a big company like native instruments or someone like that you see they make their own actual folder they make their own directory path to it so remember the click add go to c drive go to your programs drive where you um, designated it click on the folder and then select folder and then it could be the case as well you need to do this rescan to check it check for it but hopefully that should find all your um, VST instruments and VST plugins. If you're still having trouble, by all means, just send us a comment and I'll try and get back as quick as I can. Have a good one.